You can buy a magnetic bicycle parts tray, such as this one from Park. I have only a couple of problems with it, though. Everything that's magnetic seems to congregate together. And those that are not magnetic just seem to roll around. And it's really hard to place pieces in the order in which you take it out. So we're going to make our own magnetic tray. You'll need a couple of things. One, I found this plastic tray that someone was discarding. It's uh, somewhere around 10 by 7. Took some an old bike tube and cut it up and pasted it to the bottom to keep it from sliding around when I'm working. The other important agreement, uh, ingredient is a Hullis super sticky car dashboard magnetic mat. Say that fast. It, this one is 11, 11 by 7. They come in various sizes. They have a sticky side that's supposed to stick to your car dash and you can put all kinds of things on that and it will adhere to your uh, dash. Chose this size because it's just about the width although a little bit longer than the tray itself. You can either eyeball it but I prefer measuring the inside of the tray, cutting a piece of cardboard with a straight edge the exact size and fitting it inside the tray as a pattern for our cutout. You'll notice I've placed a extra piece of board underneath so I don't cut my workbench. And holding that down, I'm going to carefully use my box cutter, cut off the piece I don't need. Sometimes you'll have to cut off the edge. In this case, I just have to cut off the top. We'll trim a little bit on the end there, and then we'll see how it fits. We'll remove the backing. And we'll line up the top as best we can. And try to bring it down right along the edges. And we'll see how we did. Looks pretty good. Let's see how it works. Now when I take apart this hub, I can place the pieces in the order that they were on on the hub. And now I have everything in nice order so I know how to put it back. I even have the ball bearings. I can clean the hub parts, replace the ball bearings, and put it back together again. And even if I knock this tray, parts aren't going anywhere. To clean the tray, just use a clean cloth to get any residual grease or dirt out. And the nice thing about this tray is if you use a metal piece, it's going to hold firmly because of the magnetism, or a non-metal piece because of the rough way the surface is made, neither move around. If you have any other ideas on building a magnetic tray or have used a magnetic parts tray before, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.